All right, what is up everyone? It is Fana and yes, I am finally playing Cuphead after being asked about 1000 times. I finally had a look at it and it looks amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this out. Haven't played it, haven't, I've watched a tiny bit. Um, you know, just get to an idea of what it's all about, see if I would actually like it. And I think I'm gonna be well into this. The art style is really cool. The gameplay looks good. It sounds like the difficulty is just about right. Um, but here we go. Once upon a time in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day the two boys wandered far from home and, despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog! exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose! Nice run, boys, laughed the newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now, how about we raise the stakes? He suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll and all the loot in my casino is yours. The devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls, Neil. Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no! cried Mugman, for he understood the danger. But it was too late. Sneak eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose! The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now about their cells. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. That there must be an another w w way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Y yes, p p please, Mr. Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their cells for me and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls, otherwise I'll be one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kill. He'll know what to do. All right. So for those of you who don't know, this is a Mega Man, I guess Mega Man type game is, is the way to put it, just a platform. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you can't refuse, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now. Collect those contracts, and you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable, magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourself for a scrap. Uh, okay. Oh, tutorial. All right. So since I haven't really ch checked this game out, I'm definitely going to have to do this. Hold down to crouch. Seems pretty simple. A to jump. Seems pretty simple. Y to dash. Okay. Got it. Uh, okay. Pretty normal platform controls. X to shoot. Hold for rapid fire. RB to stay in place. Uh, don't like that. I would rather rebind that to the other shoulder button. Um... Oh, okay, so, okay, got it. Yeah, I would rather rebind that to the other button, but let's get used to this. So you can just hold in place with that kind of parry slap. So yeah, I've seen uh, I've seen Northern Lion do the tutorials. So I know that was basically uh, press jump while airborne to nullify or interact with the pink objects. This also builds your super meter. Now it looks kind of scary because. Revive your dead pal with a well-timed parry on the ghost. Oh, two-player mode only. Uh, X move. Oh, okay. Wait. No great attack that requires one super meter cancel. EX move. Coin. Collect coins. Push items from the shop. Boom. We're done. Uh, that was, you know, surprisingly, you know, fairly simple controls, but a lot to take in at once as well. It's just going to have to get used to those mechanics. Mm. All right. So we just leave... And we enter the world map. 
Now, there's a lot of people saying this game's super difficult. And now, I don't disagree that it's going to be difficult. I just personally believe that people... Oh, equip Y. Oh. Oh. Shot A, the P shooter. So you get to, like, upgrade your weapon and stuff. Contract list. A lot of worlds. Because we'll fill that out later. Who's this dude? What does he want? Hey, fellas, looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way, always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Oh, baby, hello. Well, I'm going to take those coins straight to the shop. Pork Rinds Emporium, hello. How are you doing there? Welcome. Hmm, Chaser. Long range with uh, below average. This is three. Extra hit point. It's not a hit point, but lightly weakens your attack power. Uh, I don't want to be weakened. Short range with great damage if you can keep close to your target. Smoke bomb. You will not take damage during a dash. A great defensive maneuver. She sounds really useful. Uh, roundabout jumbo rebound. Great coverage with average damage. Aim backward for maximum range. That costs four coins. Oh, I do have four coins, so I can buy any of these. Great coverage with average damage. But I already have an EX attack, so, like, this just sounds better. Like, the... I feel like I want... That sounds really good to me, dude. Your first parry move is automatic. All you need to do is jump. Wow. Well, that seems good as well. So, how do I equip this? I guess the same with the menu I was in just before. You gots to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, you bums. Alright, so what was it? A charm? Yeah, smoke bomb. Okay, this sounds super useful, dude. So whenever I dash, I cannot take damage. Let's go and have a look over here. Botanic panic, difficulty selection, simple or regular. I mean, I guess we're doing everything on regular, right? Seems reasonable. So we're straight into a boss fight against the goddamn potato. I can parry that. Just kind of difficult to do so. Oh, the, no, no. I missed the parry, apparently. I missed it again. Okay. <laughs> How did I miss the parry? Fuck. Well, that sucks. What do we got next? A mother bloody onion. Okay, what happens here then? So I can dodge the tears? Seems like a pretty simple fight. Oh, there's a parry thing. I need to grab one of those, dude. I don't want to die doing it, though. Oh, he's dead. I got lots of EX cards. Oh, you can kill them. You can just kill the goddamn carrots, dude. Oh! Okay, these guys are uh, a little bit difficult than the other ones. But overall, seems reasonably easy. Let me jump. Oh, I talk shit and died. Okay, I guess we're going again. <laughs> I basically lost all my health trying to parry those pink things. Okay, got it. There's the parry that I was looking for. Oh, I missed it again. It's actually really hard to parry stuff that can hurt you. Yeah, I... I'm struggling with that parry mechanic. I think I just have to tap it earlier than... I'm trying to, like, hit it. Okay, so we'll try and parry one of these tiers as well once it comes down. There it is. Oh, fuck it. It's hard to parry, dude! I mean, I guess that's the intention, right? Okay, maybe I can hit this guy with a, uh, one of those bad boys, or a couple of those bad boys. See if he likes it. Where's he going with this? Okay. Alright. He must be very close to death, dude. Like, I give him a bunch of those supers. Unless the supers are just, like, for AoE. They could definitely be for AoE. Seems like there's nothing to parry here, though. 
Knockout! There we go. All right, first boss. I can't even believe I died once. He wasn't hard. I kind of just messed around trying to get a parry in. All right. That is so loud. I'm actually going to have to, like, mute that. I don't know what the deal is with that. Let me check my options real quick. Um, I guess they're not connected to the master volume, so I should just do these separately or something. Like that. That was really bad. <laughs> Hopefully that fixes itself up. All right. Well, uh, decent start. One boss down, one soul collected, I assume. Yeah, we got a soul contract. The, the root pack. You got the root pack soul contract. Awesome. Let's have a look up here. What is this thing? Forest Follies, a run and gun. Let's have a look at this. You're up. Oh, God. We're going. Seems rather simple. I feel like I have the uh, the music volume a little bit too low, actually, because... Oh, you know what? I didn't use my dash at all there, to be honest. Now that I think about it. And it, I think you can dash every time you jump, so I should be, like, spamming the living shit out of that. Okay, I want to try and parry this. Got it! Now, I know that doesn't look difficult, but it's actually, you know, just the timing on it is kind of annoying. Let's see if I can get this one as well. No. No. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Because I think if you... I don't think you can spam A or anything to parry. Like, that would just be bullshit. So I think it's like you have one chance to press A during that scenario. Whoa. Yeah, parry to get the coin. This guy should go instantly down. So I assume the EX move that I have is just good for, like, clearing the front of the screen. Real easily. Like, I don't even know if you get stuff from killing stuff. Like, I don't know if you're just, like, picking up the coins here or what. But I know you get, like, a bonus for, like, the speed of the mission. All right, easy. So I can spam my dash, like, as much as I want, and it, it grants me invincibility, so... Seems really good. I really want that coin. I'll be taking it. I'm dashing out. Oh, I took damage. I'm actually really low HP already, dude. I'm a bit worried. All right, thank God we're out. I actually got a bit of money now, I reckon. Could pick up some more stuff. We are just going to have to be silent on these screens because for some reason it's like 10 times as loud as the rest of the game. So we're just going to have to leave that. Um, actually, I have an idea. If I, I've got a, I got a better idea. This is going to work. Okay, bear with me a second. All right. So what I've done is I changed the, uh, the volume settings in game up to max and changed the windows volume. It should work really well. Who's this uh, creepy looking motherfucker? Actually, I've got six coins. Let's go to the shop first and see what's going on. Back to the Emporium with old mate pork rinds. Hello. How you doing? Slightly weakens your attack power. See, I do not like the sound of that. The first parry moves automatic. All you need to do is jump. That sounds useful, but also lazy. Um, great coverage with average. So it looks like I just need to pick up like an EX move. Or I just need to buy this to get like the next item in the shop. Because I really don't like this. I'm going to pick it up. Coffee! Super meat to continuously fills in addition to what you earn. Oh, yes. We'll be using that. Definitely be using that. Which means I can just spam EX moves, I guess, and do loads more. Well, I mean, I say loads more damage. Actually, I don't have a super yet. Oh. It's a charm as well. Huh. Wait one second. Oh, wait one second. All of those things aren't just the X moves, they're actually attacks? I thought they were just the X moves separate to my main attack. Oh, shit. I was thinking they were just the X moves. Well, I look like a complete idiot. Ah, 
short range with great damage. Okay. That sounds good. Sounds really good with my dodge mechanic. Oh, well, I've definitely made some mistakes already then. Especially since I don't even have a super. All right, what a complete. Oh, what a mess, dude. Anyway, let's go chat to this thief. Um, I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah in the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls the place too. They'll never get a hold of my gold if I spread it all around. And if some Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. That's what I say. <laughs> okay, so that means there's gold around here, right? What's this boat all about? Clip joint calamity. Let's go. Oh, 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 it's actually a boss? Oh my. Can I kill those? Oh, I can pop them. Oh my god. What do they do? What's that? That was parryable. Parrying's scary, dude. Okay. This is all simple enough. So far. Oh god. Oh, I need to use my dodge there. Oh no. Oh no, the, 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 oh god. Whoa! Okay, let's go again on that. I got this. This is easy. Okay, he's going first. Hit the parry as well. I don't know, dude. Parrying fucks me up more than it helps me. Fuck parrying. Have some of that, you fucks. The sounds that they make is hilarious, dude. Okay, here he goes again. I'm not even gonna bother parrying, I don't think. I feel like it's gonna get me into more trouble than anything else. Okay, simple enough. Just had to hit that up. Now, if I can get through this guy as fast as possible, that'll be nice. Jesus! Oh, oh my god, no! This one's hard, dude. What's he gonna do next? No! Oh! Is that actually really difficult? Oh, I almost... Oh, okay, so there's three phases. Every time. This match will get red hot. Let's see here. The simple one. Just jump and dodge. Jump and dodge. This one's really easy as well. This fight, like, I should not be losing any health at all until this guy decides to roll on my ass. Yep. And then it gets extremely difficult. I don't think this guy can hit me on this phase, so I just need to stay over here. Definitely to be tapping the dodge, like, way more, dude. Doesn't seem to matter which one I hit. Because, I mean, I have invincibility when I dodge, so this is really easy if I'm just abusing my dodge, which I have up pretty much all the time. I don't think there's any downside to the dodge. Oh my god, I dodged the wrong way. Whoa, bro! If I can take... Oh, he's not open yet. Do I have to parry that? I do have to parry. Oh, we're gambling now. Some kind of thing. Oh, I see. Good told me that one a bit sooner. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That's difficult on that stage. But we got the other two stages down nice and easily there. Okay, he's going first. This <laughs> sounds when they pop. It's so cool. I love it. Okay. I want to parry so bad, dude, but I just do not have the balls. Okay, that seems simple enough. Building up my uh, card now as well. I wonder if I can just straight dodge through that. Yeah, I can, so. I'm wasting a lot of my time jumping, I think. Oh, pop that right on my face. Oh god, I'm fucking up massively. Yeah, 
lots of mistakes were made. I actually do want the other attack. There he goes. I'll be taking that. Unfortunately, we've only got one health here. Actually, wouldn't mind that health upgrade now that I think about it. All right, got the parry. What do we got this time? Oh god, it's something different. Uh oh! Oh, it's so easy. I could have just dashed straight through him, man. Okay, no damage taken. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I fucked that up. Obviously. Let's get this guy. Alright, froggos. Come on, let's go. So I guess this is mostly a boss fight kind of game. We've done one level without boss fights. This is second uh, level so far. That's just a straight up boss fight. No messing around. So if I stay over here, there's no way that I take damage on this phase. However, I... Fuck! <laughs> I don't know if I have to damage the, the guy on the left as well. I have been in the past. But I don't know if you have to. Okay, there they go. One HP again. Dodge the coins. I can't believe that, dude. I cannot believe that. Try to go to parry, get hit by a coin because I missed the parry. Feels bad, man. Well, I'm struggling already. Maybe I take it back on those difficulty claims that I made. This is only boss two, man. That's not good. Love the music, though. The music's wonderful. And the sound effects, actually. It's the sound effects that make it more than the music, I reckon. Okay. Spam this guy out. I would love to use my EX more, but... Fuck. So I'm going to assume that, you know, maybe, maybe you do need to damage the left guy. Actually, maybe you don't. Okay, 2 HP for this phase. This is the best we've done so far, surprisingly. I'm ready to gamble, brother. Let's go. If I can just get to the god town. I'd be, like, super scared of it now. Fuck off! Uh, we got these things again. These are kind of crazy, honestly. Oh, that's, oh man. I guess if I was just holding my uh, standstill button, I'd be able to dodge and be fine. If I think about it properly. Like, I want to use my EX on those fights, but at the same time, like... Oh, good fucking lord, this one's over. I want to use my EX on those fights, but at the same time, there's, like, very little space to actually pull off the EX. Like, very, very little space to pull off the EX. Alright, then. Let's go, buddy. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Just need to not get into the habit of over-dodging. I feel like that's going to be an easy thing to do. This is not that difficult if you're right in the middle. Yeah, here we go. Next phase. Perfect. 2 HP to go into this one. Let's see what we can do. Okay. I kind of hope it's... Oh, God. Not that one. See, I'm getting, like, no damage in is a problem. I'm just kind of, like, pooping my pants. That is literally no damage. No damage at all. 
See, I can hit my EX. Okay, we got some damage in. I'm scared though. Oh! That's got me twice now, bouncing off the coin. We're only halfway through the third phase. Jesus, man. Don't do this to me. Alright, my shit talking is done. It was just a feeling about the difficulty of the game. I didn't know if it was going to be like really difficult or not. Let's get this part figured out nicely. That's good. I will try to spam more EX on the other, the last phase. Although I still don't actually know if the EX does more damage or if it's just giving me like an A, a we kind of thing. Let's find out. See how fast this guy goes down. Yeah, it's really easy if you just stand in the middle, just getting used to that pattern. Oh. Okay. You don't even have to dodge, to be honest. I'm starting to think the smoke screen thing I've got on is maybe, like, maybe it's really good, but at the same time, like. It forces me or causes me to like over dodge, which is a big problem. Oh god. Well, that's down to 2 HP already. This one is scary as hell, to be honest. I. Ah, Jesus Christ. You know what? It's better to jump instead of try and dodge. I'm starting to regret my smoke screen, dude. Like, what, what, what is happening here is that I'm over abusing my smoke screen to try and not take damage. But if you if you do that, then you're not doing any damage yourself because you're not hitting things. Whereas if you're jumping forward towards the target at the same time as dodging the stuff, then you're actually fine. So I think I'm actually going to instantly remove it after this fight and go with like the four HP upgrade with less damage. Because I feel like I would have won this fight already if I took the 4 HP upgrade with less damage. And maybe even take like the uh, the, the spray thing for extra damage and like abuse it like that. Like more damage on my attack but then have another heart. Seems good to me. Seems like the ideal idea. I hit him with a few of those, try and speed this up. Oh, it does definitely speed it up. Okay, we're going to spam the shit out of those on the last phase. If we can. I'm gonna try not to abuse my dodge so much. I don't want to get into a habit of that if it's just gonna fuck me up. Oh god, I haven't seen this yet! Oh, you have to stand on them. Seems simple enough. Oh, fuck me. Oh god. I'm worried. <laughs> oh god. Hey, that one is actually one of the hardest ones. Maybe it's just because I haven't had it yet. I don't know. I was so panicky about the goddamn motherfucking shit duck thing, the coin, that's what I was trying to say, that I kind of just tried to dodge into him. The dodging's getting me killed. I'm not dodging anymore. It's actually causing me major problems. Well, so much for talking shit about this game, eh? Lesson learned. Believe people. If everybody in the world says that the game is difficult, it's probably kind of difficult. It might just be a little bit difficult. Anyway, I'm going to save all my EX for the last phase so I can just burn them down. Actually, is five the max? Five's the max. So i got to use a little bit. That's good to know. Should be nearly done. It doesn't seem to be doing much. All right, froggos, let's go. Easy peas. Okay, we're gonna spam the shit out of this guy with the X. That's what we're doing. I actually dodged that one, that was good. Seems 
stone corner. That one's actually the easiest. No, oh, five every time. I talk shit. Okay. I'm getting confused. I don't know why. It's not exactly confusing, but I was getting confused. This is in the bag if I don't fuck it up, dude. Oops. Oh god, not Frogger. It's if you try and take the ones too far at the back. Yes! It's only the second boss, but it already feels so good! Oh man. That took way too long. That's just ridiculous, dude. Oh. <laughs> Be your brand new record. Fuck you, buddy. Well, we got another soul contract, I guess. Aha. Good shit. Uh, Ribby and Croaks. You got the Ribby and Croaks soul crank contract. Badass. All right, dudes. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to try and do like 30 minutes a day. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.